I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. The all new 2023 Honda Accord versus the new 2023 Honda Civic. We did this comparison last year with the top trim Civic and the top trim Accord. Now the Accord has been updated. However, this time we're comparing the lowest trim Accord to the highest trim Civic, which in the United States, there's basically no difference in price. But Yuri, let's get to the horsepower and torque. Horsepower and torque. The Accord has 192 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque from a 1.5 liter turbo four-cylinder. And the Civic has 180 horsepower and 177 pound-feet of torque from a 1.5 liter turbo four-cylinder. Yes, it's the same engine. Ready? Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh you got I'm me. pulling! <laughs> Wow, that was the world's worst uh, acceleration battle. I'm just happy when both cars are the same speed, but what if somebody wanted to buy one of these? Where would they go? TSP.TrueCar.com for discounted price offers. These are some of the top selling vehicles through that link. Because Yuri's currently in the EX trim of the Accord, America actually gets the LX trim, which is below the EX. They also get the EX and similarly priced in the United States. In Canada, there's much more of a difference between these. So if you're shopping for one, definitely check them out in the United States because they're even more comparable. So what are the biggest differences between these two? Because they're both sedans. You don't have the hatch right now, so they both have trunks. Do we start with the looks or the interior space? Let's start with the looks. Uh, you're driving a undercover cop car in the Ford Taurus beside me. Am I defending the Ford Taurus Honda Accord or am I just talking normally here? No, we're gonna defend the vehicles that we're currently driving. This is a special edition of Car Review Court. The brand new Honda Accord looks so good. Like, such a streamlined look. Looks like nothing else out there. I especially love the taillights. They stand out so much more than the Civic and they look so sleek. Wow, very convincing lawyer Yuri. This Civic is undeniably better looking. This beluga whale front end is gorgeous. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it compared to the hatch, which also looks very lovely. The Civic headlights don't even match the headlights of the rest of the Honda lineup like they do in this Accord. We got similar ones to the Pilot and to the CRV. That's what makes the front end of this Accord look better. Thank you for pointing out how unique my vehicle looks in the Honda lineup. <laughs> oh, damn. I mean, both of these cars in white, they look like some fleet stuff. Like, just saying, they look like Life Labs or like a delivery company for like Napa Auto Parts or, or something like that. You know, put a yellow helmet on them and they're good. Especially the Accord with its uh, base model wheels. So you have 17 inch wheels. I got 18 inch on the Civic. Yeah, that's right. The Civic has bigger wheels. Yeah, okay, Civic wheels look kind of nice, but I got more sidewall, which is like, you know, better for more comfort. I don't have to worry about scratching my wheels as easily. So I think that's a win for the Accord. Yeah, the Accord could definitely plow through curbs much faster, which uh, I've seen some Accord drivers before and you'll probably need that feature. That is a selling feature. And what would be the Continental recommended tire for either of these cars? The Extreme Contact DWS 06 Plus for the Civic and the Pure Contact LS for the Accord, which is a luxury premium all season touring tire for a luxury vehicle like an Accord. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, and then what is next that we can compare with the looks? Like body lines are both pretty similar, right? Yeah, let's just leave it at pretty similar, nothing special. Uh, the tail lights, much better on the Civic. They actually put some effort into them. They look fantastic. And the Accord, I think they just forgot about the back end. You have never been more wrong in your life. How about exhaust tips? The same, because we both don't have exhaust tips. Okay, let's settle the looks by whose car sounds better from the outside. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below which one you think looks better. If I took my lawyer hat off right now, you know, this looks like a Ford Taurus cop car. It's not really my favorite look. I had it parked in front of my house all day and I'm like, why is there a cop watching me? Uh, I think, yeah, Civic looks a little better. Yeah, Civic definitely looks a lot better. This, this looks like they put effort into it. The Accord, especially next to the Civic, because when I saw it in isolation, when we drove the top trim, I was okay with that Accord, but seeing the base model next to the top trim Civic, it does not look very pretty. I think the Accord looks a lot better in red. I think both of these cars look a lot better when they're not in like fleet car spec. 100% agree. Let's get to some of these interior differences now. 
I would like to start with my lovely leather steering wheel. The quality of this is immaculate. Yuri, have you ever looked at your dashboard and thought that is a material that I want on my steering wheel? I have a urethane steering wheel. Now that is something cool to talk about. Just leather, like who cares? Yuri, do me a favor and knock on your dashboard and then knock on the steering wheel. It should make the same sound. Steering wheel's actually a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's a weird steering wheel, but the nice thing about getting into this Accord was that everything was very simple, nothing was complicated. My infotainment has a volume knob, a tuning knob, and so many hard buttons, way more than that Civic. Yeah, the Civic definitely has some of those hard buttons, a home back, a volume knob, and a tuning button, not a tuning knob, which honestly would have been nice if they just added in a secondary tuning knob. But to be fair, taking my lawyer hat off, this doesn't have Sirius XM in the Accord. None of them do, which is total trash. And we love Sirius XM. They were a sponsor for a while. They're wearing my Sirius XM shirt and they're hooking us up with Blink-182 tickets that we're going to tonight. So shout out Sirius XM Blink-182. Blink-182 rock on. <laughs> <laughs> I got in here and I was like, Sirius XM, where are you? So I just used it off my app, off my Apple CarPlay, which is wired, which worked perfectly. Oh, you don't have wireless, Yuri? No, nobody likes wireless Apple CarPlay. Everybody loves wireless CarPlay when you do own a vehicle, so this top trim Civic has wired and wireless, that's right, options. But does the Civic have a digital dash in the lowest trim? We're not talking about the lowest trim. I'm in the highest trim right now, and yes, I do have a digital dash in the Civic. Probably the same one as the Accord. It's pretty nice though, eh? Nice, nice digital dash. Yeah, yeah. What about drive modes? Because I have a couple of them, and I have a drive mode indicator button. I have economy mode, economical mode, econ. The one with the green leaf. I don't know. <laughs> that one. And then I got drive, sport, and low for my CVT. No paddles though. Uh, yeah, you got DSL, and I don't have any of that. I only have D. Yeah, so I guess the Accord's winning again. Wow. No, it's not. And you know where it's also not winning? The overall premiumness of the interior because this has gloss black and everybody knows gloss black is a sign of premiumness. I've even seen it in a Bentley. While, while that is very true, I'll give, I'll give it that much to the Civic of gloss black. The Accord has no gloss black, which makes it much easier to clean and no fingerprints. It is uh, good for somebody who needs to maintain their vehicle very easily. And I've got this metal mesh pattern up here, which looks lovely as well. I got one of those two in the Accord in this low trim as well. And I've got very clicky hard climate buttons in the Civic. Got the same ones in the Accord. How about the clickiness of my tuning knob? And can you do the clickiness of your tuning knob for me real quick? Uh, here's the volume knob and yeah, it sounds great buttons pathetic anyways uh something we both have exactly the same is the quality of reverse camera yes they are on par with the upper models of the pilot as well which is not very good but a feature for both of us is that we actually have the same backup camera as a fifty thousand dollar pilot and another thing that i have is a wireless charger yuri can you wireless charge your phone no and i would never wireless charge my phone anyways because i only use wired CarPlay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And what about your cup holders? I've got a full pass in the Civic, no problem. Yeah, full pass in the Accord. I feel like they're exactly the same. However, you're not gonna fit a small up at the front one. You just gotta put it at the back one. And while you're drinking your coffee, the sun might be in your eyes. Yuri, three, two, one. Yes! Full pass. Speaking of the sun, I got a sunroof, do you? I do, it's pretty small, but it's there. Yeah, hey. Hey, a lot of good features equally along both cars. And you know what I have in this Accord is a nice cool cloth seat. So when the sun is beating on it and I get into my car, it's not gonna burn me. Do you have a nice cloth seat in your Civic or are you gonna get burned by the, the hot, hot leather? No, I'm just gonna crank my AC with my lovely knobs and use my heated seats while I'm at it. Cause yeah, I got that. And you know what, even if it's a little chilly outside, I'm gonna use my heated steering wheel. Can you use yours for me? I can definitely use my steering wheel. It is not heated unless the sun hits that urethane real hard, but I do have heated seats, no cooled. But another thing that both of us actually have, and I'm shocked that you do, is Honda Sensing. So we do have lane keep assist and adaptive cruise and it works really well. Yeah, the lane centering is good. It's nice that this has it. I was a little bit shocked because when I see cloth seats, I don't think lane centering. And we are on the way to Cliche Corner, but before we get there, let's assess the suspension between both of these. And I'm just gonna say they're both extremely comfortable and I honestly don't know which one's more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I can't really tell the difference. Perfectly nice commuter cars, nothing to complain about. Okay, back to seats. Do you have forward and back lumbar? 
I actually don't have any lumbar. Oh, <laughs> Civic, what the heck? Do you have seat presets in the Civic? No. And neither do I in this Accord. Okay, good. <laughs> hey, do you even have electronic seats in that thing? Because I have yeah, them in yeah. the Civic. Like electronic seats for sure. And then uh, seat room, I think you're comfortable in both of these at six foot one and a half, correct? Yeah, totally fine in the back of these, uh, headroom and leg room. But is there more leg room in the back of the Accord? I object, I've already answered this question indirectly. Yes, and then headroom in the back and leg room, it's perfect. If you have tall people in your family, I think the Accord is definitely a no brainer because like who really cares about these short people? Nobody. We need to, we need to watch out for the tall people. Or if you're buying one of these as an Uber, I would prefer to be picked up in the Accord, actually. What if you barf on those seats? <laughs> then definitely the Civic, because they'd probably be a lot easier to clean, although they are perforated, so I don't really know. But I'll give you this much Honda Civic. For an Uber, you would be able to USB charge from the back where this Accord has nothing. And I even have heated seats in the back, which would be lovely for the winter. And trunk space, the Accord definitely has more, but the Civic is really, really good, no problem. I was able to fit a lot of diapers in the trunk. Okay, the Accord has grocery bag hangers, which I used for my groceries and, uh, you know, held them in there nice. I had eggs that did not go flying, but I'll give this much to the Civic. If you get the hatch version, you pretty much have the best room for storing stuff ever. Yeah, and the Accord has no hatch version, so the Civic has options. And the Accord doesn't have a two-door version anymore. I know the Civic doesn't either, but like there were some cool two-door Accords back in the day. Yeah, and I mean, if we're gonna go that route, there's also an SI version of this, there's also a Type R version of this, and there's also an Acura version of this, so you know. Yeah, yeah, no, that is, that is cool version. It's cool that you don't actually have the top trim Civic. <laughs> I have the most premium commuter version. You have the top trim sedan CVT. Yes. Unless you go to Acura, yes. which is a Civic. <laughs> yeah, but one thing I also have that you don't is paddle shifters on my steering wheel, which everybody knows paddle shifters are where it's at. Paddle shifters are completely useless in a CVT, and I can prove it. I'm gonna pull up this clip from this awesome car review channel called The Straight Pipes, which you should all subscribe to, and uh, proof is in the pudding. The CVT, I actually don't mind it at all. We do have paddles to simulate fake gears. I'm just gonna simulate a couple right now. I would never use them realistically. <laughs> They're just there. I've never met this man in my life. Look, man, I really like downshifting the CVT. Look, it's so fast. Watch this. Instant, faster than a DCT. Continuously variabling your way through cliche corner. Uh, speaking of continuously variabling, we should talk about fuel economy. The Civic is rated at 6.9 liters per 100 kilometers combined or 34 miles per gallon. And that Accord has a paltry 7.3 liters per 100 kilometers or 32 miles per gallon combined. I gotta tell you this much, I enjoy this drivetrain much more than the hybrid drivetrain in the Accord, the one we drove in California. It was like a lot of weird stuff going on. I love the simplicity of this. I think maybe a lower trim might be the sweet spot of the Accord. And this is actually, actually, not just like lawyer hat Yuri. Yeah, 100%, because you even kind of get almost a better infotainment because it's just it's simpler. More hard buttons, yeah. I mean, if you don't get Sirius XM, then like, what's the point of moving up? If you don't get like a better 360 camera or reverse camera, like why? But where it might be worth spending your hard-earned cash for this top trim Civic is the sound system. I've got a 12-speaker Bose sound system, and it is actually really good. You've only got eight speakers, and it's not even branded by Bose. It's decent, and it's at least not awful. Like, there is awful sound systems that exist. This is not awful. Correct. It's not on, like, I don't know, a base Subaru BRZ or something like that. It's not on that level. I think most people could easily live with this sound system and not be mad. All right, so with all the interior differences out of the way, cliche corner. Uh, first thing I noticed is that it's just so comfortable through here, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, these are definitely not sports cars, and there's actually like no sporty version of the Accord anymore, which kind of sucks. Ooh, the steering in the Civic is lovely, just the right amount of weight. Yeah, I love the steering feel through this urethane wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just love grabbing your dash as your steering wheel? <laughs> Okay, and this Civic, here we go. Oh yeah, I can hear the tires, but this body roll is under control. I am kind of keeping up with these big fat oh, tires. There we go, I'm gonna lose you here. I think I pressed uh, the no, accelerator no, I'm slightly like, first. I'm like, I'm like pretty much there. Yeah, they're they're pretty evenly matched. This The Civic actually just feels great. We've driven it like a hundred times through here and it, it's lovely. Yeah, the Accord was, you know, not amazing. 
But uh, this is a commuter car spec, so this is all I'm expecting from it. And then in the Accord, I have got nice carpeted floor mats. Do you have carpet or do you have some other material? I mean, I've got carpet under these rubber floor mats. Do those rubber floor mats cover everything or do they just cover a little bit? They definitely don't cover as much as a set of tux mat would. So go to tuxmat.com slash the straight pipes to see what they have available for your car. Yes, more coverage I think would get more points for sure. It would definitely give this a luxurious feel. And probably catch more puke in the back seats as an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> yes, much easier to clean. All right, switch up the order back through Cliche Corner to see if the Civic can keep up with the Accord before we get to the price and our final decisions. Let's see the Cliche Corner bump. Ooh, comfortable. Ooh, the bump in the Civic was nice. All right, eat my dust, Civic. Ah, not a chance. I'm gonna hit your bumper if I get any closer. <laughs> the CVT is just screaming. We're just exchanging whose tires are screaming first. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is kind of, kind of a dog through there. Yeah, honestly, the Civic is better. We have driven opposite vehicles, so we already know that. Lawyer hats on or off, the Civic is the better handling car between these two in these trims. So I think with all that out of the way, it's time we get to the price. In Canada, the Civic is $33,350. Canadian. The Accord is $37,000. And in the States, they are basically the same price, even if you go to the upper EX trim, which is pretty crazy. And I think that's fair because I think Accord has some like value to the name. You know, people say they drive a Civic, like I don't want to be in a Civic, I want to be a Accord. What's the next car up when you have a Civic? You go to Accord. That's where that extra price difference is coming into play. Urethane wheel, name brand. No, I tell them the next car up is an Acura. Lawyer hats off. Price being the same in the States, which one would you take? Okay, so the better 30 grand car between both of these, that being the EX trim, this being the top touring trim, I'm obviously gonna have to go Team Civic. There's just so many features, the seats are more comfortable. I love this thing. I think you're right. And I think as long as there is no room restrictions for stuff in the trunk, or height restrictions for like a baby seat behind you or anything, or if your whole family is like a family of giants or something like that, Civic is probably the right way to go. However, I will say this, after browsing tsp.truecar.com, I have noticed that the Civic tends to be marked up more often than the Accord. So you might end up with more value in an Accord if you're able to get a better deal. Yeah, and I'm sure some people just would rather have an Accord. They don't care if it's cloth seats instead of leather in a Civic. They would rather have the Accord, and I get that, right? Like. I do have to give it to Honda though. They killed it with this Civic. We've reviewed this countless times in countless trims. And every time I get in this, I'm just so happy and pleased to be in this car. And even people modifying their Civics looks cool. Like we saw a cool Civic with wheels and a spoiler and exhaust. So that looked cool. I haven't seen any of these Accords dressed up as like fake cop cars like people used to do with their Grand Marquis yet, but I know that's coming. Yeah, so let us know which one you guys would pick. Is it the Civic or the Accord and which trim would you get? Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed our clips from a Blink-182 concert. <laughs>